Hey everybody, this is Joseph over at Synergy 17 and High Energy Networks. And today I want to show you um, what I like to do when I need to um, make a quick jig. And in case you don't know what a jig is, a jig is something that is more like a template. It's something you would put in your laser engraver to hold your material. So if I'm doing 15 pins or pencils, uh, it's just kind of like a template and I can set my pins in it to engrave it easily. But sometimes there's just, uh, I only want to do one or two, or um, I don't want to do a whole bunch, and I don't want to spend the time making a jig. So what I, I use is I use a, a technique to make a temporary jig, and I'll show you how I do that. So in this example, I'm going to um, make myself, uh, make my dog uh, a new name tag. So it's a heart-shaped anodized aluminum name tag. So let's get started here. So my dog's name is Zoe, and I'll put my phone number here. Center this and let's change the font. I'm going to make this a little bit larger and let's make this one a little bit smaller. And I'm going to center that. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to take this red part here and I'm going to send it off to the laser to cut my temporary jig. So what I do is I go to file, print, and I have a universal laser so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, the control panel to do this. Natural, I'm going to use um, construction paper even though I'm using actually masking tape. So what I do is I just say okay to that. Oops. Really not that thick, but we'll go ahead and just choose that. Hit print, and what that does is it basically spools up the job and gets it ready to go to the laser. So if I look at my laser setting, I can see it right here. And um, it really doesn't matter where on my uh, tabletop it's going to be because I'm just going to slap my uh, tape down there once I get to my laser, and I'll show you that in a bit. So in this part we're going to basically be laser engraving this little anodized aluminum heart and most typically people will come up here and they'll stick it up in the top corner. The problem is sometimes you don't have an object that's perfectly square in here so this might go in crooked and you don't want to um, laser this incorrectly. You don't want to have your words crooked. So what we want to do is we want to make a a quick jig, something really quick that we could actually uh, place this into without um, having to spend a lot of time. So what I like to do is I like to grab some basic, this is some R-tape, um, low-tack masking tape, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a chunk off and place it somewhere. For example, I'll just put it right here. The next thing I'm going to do is send the job uh, from the computer over here and I'm going to cut this template out right here and we'll weed that out and we'll be able to place this in there for a quick lineup. So we'll do that next. So now that I laser cut this and I basically weeded out the, the piece where we cut out, the heart will now fit in here perfectly straight and um, now we can send the job over to basically engrave it. Okay, now that we've made the temporary jig, we're going to actually create the etching part where we're going to actually engrave into the, um, the anodized aluminum. So this time I just highlight the word Zoe and the phone number and I want to make it a little bit thicker so I'm going to give it a thicker outline. Okay, so 
All I do is I select the black part, go to File, Print, and this time um, I'm going to, instead of cutting paper, we're going to choose metal, aluminum, anodized aluminum. And I'm going to say OK to that. And I'm going to hit print. And what that's going to do is going to spool it up and get it ready for the laser. So if I go to my control panel again, you'll notice that this is ready to go. And it's in the exact same spot where the heart was. So we'll go ahead and send that job over. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to take this, take out the dog tag, as you can see. It's been uh, engraved nicely, nice, perfect, straight. And as for your so-called jig, you can throw it away. And that's it.